Hey, what's going on everybody? The old Mongo man out here in Mongo's garage working on BOV1, playing with this back bumper. I went and got a bunch of corrugated off of my brother tonight. Started mocking some stuff up here. This is what I've come up with so far. Kind of a West Coast uh, looking bumper there. Of course, right in the center of the bumper will be a uh, hole with a fair lead for the winch that that bumper is now hiding. I'm gonna put the license plate over there on the driver's side. And then over here on the passenger side, I don't have it figured up yet, but I'm going to put a uh, hinge assembly there for the spare tire carrier. Uh, pretty good start. I like the shape of it, but I'm just not real sure whether I like the symmetrical, whether it's gonna be flat or if I'm gonna tilt it back into the body. If you look here, see how we got this little reveal. Uh, of course, this will be capped off, but I'm not real sure whether or not it's gonna stay like that or breaking it and coming in even with it to where it would come up nice and even with that right there but we'll see what that uh what becomes of that here in the future uh i do think though that that is the general idea of what the rear bumper is going to look like of course there'll be a couple lights in there and i think the tailgate's going to change that look altogether as well but that essentially is what it will be so all right let me know what you guys think of that huh That's all for tonight. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It is tomorrow. Same t-shirt or same sweatshirt, I know. Hey, uh, did a little bit more work here on the bumper. I did get the hole cut in the center like I talked about. So you can see now that there is a winch hiding under there. I built the ends out. Uh, this end has got to come way out over like it is here. You can see that it's sticking out about two inches past the truck. There's got to be a platform sitting right here that's going to uh, have a mechanism on it so that I can put a big giant spare tire carrier on the back of that thing. And then up underneath of this little door is the winch control. This controls, you know, whether the winch goes forward or backwards. So I had to gain access for that. Uh, this will have little recesses here that will sit in there. And I don't know, it's either going to be a magnet or something's going to hold it in there. And then uh, I tap this end off too, nice and neat. Pretty happy with how that looks. And again, there'll be a fair lead right there over the center hole, so that center hole won't be uh, as open. Uh, it'll have a nice aluminum fair lead on it. Yep, that's what she looks like. All right, see you guys tomorrow. So uh, it is Wednesday evening, about quarter to 10 here. I'm getting ready to go to the house. You guys just got to see the creative process that I go through uh, or have been going through to build these bumpers. This is the first set of bumpers like this I've ever built. Uh, watched enough people do it on YouTube though that I think I might have some idea of what they're doing. Uh, this front one though, it's gonna be big, but it has to be big because the truck has a three inch body lift on it. And there's a lot of stuff underneath that has to be hidden as well. I'm pretty happy with it there. Uh, it does hide the winch very well. And it does have some geometric shape to it. So it's not just one big giant flat bumper. And of course, as you can see on this side, I haven't built that side yet. But what I'll do is I'll copy everything from that side and uh, build it over here. So this is it for tonight. I'm going to hit the house because I have to go downstate West Virginia tomorrow for work. All right, see you tomorrow. All right, well, it's the next day. Here I am out in the garage once again. KJ's gone in already. Uh, I'm just wrapping up a couple things here. Been working on the front bumper of the BOV1, trying to get this thing all dialed in so I can send these uh, templates out and get them cut out and start welding this bumper together. What do you think? Got the driver's side all put together, cut the hole in for the control. And I did recut the passenger side just so that it would be nice and clean. The only thing I got left to do here is I have to box the edge in. And then that's all done. KJ and I were discussing the light option. 
which is going to go in the wings uh, outside portion of the bumper. That way I can uh, have them dead in line with the headlights. So they're going to go essentially right in here somewhere. <clears throat> and then across the center there, of course, there'll be a fair lead in the middle for the winch and two D-rings bolted to uh, where those two bolts are. There'll be four bolts across the bottom uh, holding that bumper to the truck. And essentially that's what holds the bumper to the truck are those four bolts. And that is held in by the frame or the winch mount, I should say. And up underneath of this little contraption is that winch control. Just like that, easy access. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do there, but you can see you can get your hand right in there. Forward, reverse, three wheels in the middle. So that works out really nice. Hidden right up underneath of there. Let's see the door on the ground. <clears throat> so yeah, I haven't decided how I'm going to attach that door to the bumper, but that's what it looks like. All right, that's it for tonight. Uh, tomorrow is Friday night. I have to get a, uh, I gotta get that piece for the rear bumper so I can continue working on it. And I need to get the caps finished on the uh, edges of this bumper. All right, see y'all tomorrow. Hey, what's going on everybody? You got the old Mongo man out here in Mongo's garage today. Messing around with BOV1. It's about two o'clock here, Saturday. And uh, I just saved you guys about two hours of uh, CAD, corrugated aided design. I've been out here messing around with this bumper, trying to get everything uh, right where I want it. We went to Harbor Freight and a couple of these light pods. These uh, light pods have LEDs on the sides so that I'll get a little bit of illumination off the side of the buggy here. Uh, and so I had to fabricate the buckets and everything for those in the bumper. Saved you guys all that. Uh, I also added a piece to the front to help strengthen it where we're gonna have the, uh, the hooks, the D-rings bolted to it. And the, uh, the Fairly doesn't exactly fit where I had it figured on the truck itself. So I had to make a couple changes there, but uh, I think a half inch of steel will be more than enough to hold that Fairly in place now. So let me explain what's going on. As you can see here on the buckets for the pod lights, uh, they are recessed and mounted to the bumper. Come around here to the back side. You can see that they're nice and uh, recessed in there. Got a nice little hole in it for the wiring harness. I did get the caps on the end of the bumper. That looks pretty good. This side over here, for some reason, it's supposed to live right here, but with everything kind of the way that it is, it just wants to kind of fall there. So I, I don't think that's too much of a hassle. I got all the right sizes and everything. so. You can see across the front there, I put a 40 by six inch piece of corrugated dead center. Uh, there are right now two bolts that hold this bumper to the truck. One here, of course, and one over there. This is where the uh, fair lead will fit through. These are the bolts for the fair lead. So on the back side of that, the opening that I have in the bracket that holds the winch on is actually right at these bolt holes. So I'm gonna open that up and that's what this extra piece of plate is for is to strengthen the center of that bumper up, not only because that's the mount for the bumper, but because I'm gonna mount plates out here with D-rings hanging on them, left and right, uh, so that have a, you know recovery points and everything else on the front of the truck. Over here, much of the same as the other side. I actually started with this side. You can see the recess there. This side is all capped off. And looking inside, everything looks real good. I like how it fits nice and snug around the truck. Everything looks really good. Um, so the only thing I have left here is to take this front bumper back apart. I already spoke to my uh, metal fab guy and he is ordering steel. We're gonna make this out of 3 16th. Um, and like I said there, what you see is, uh, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, or 16 pieces in that front bumper. Um, I think it's gonna turn out pretty nice. KJ still thinks it's pretty big, and it is big because it has to be because of the three inch body lift, but that's what it is. That's where it's gonna be, and that's what it looks like. All right, I think we're just about done with this uh, video. 
I still have some more fab work to do on the back back there where the uh, the hinge is going to be for the spare tire carrier, but I don't want to bore you guys completely to death. Uh, we'll see what happens here. I'm going to run up to the house, grab something to eat. Maybe I'll come back out and mess with that a little bit. All right. See you in a bit.